can be the current immunotherapy is to use an antibody to damage the defense system of the cancer. The defense system scientifically is called PDL1, so destroy that defense system. Now, about 10% of the patients can still get obvious side effects because in 10% of these patients, when the immune system activates to attack the cancer, it accidentally attacks another organ. Mm. It could be the lung, it could be the liver, it could be the kidney, it could be the intestines, difficult to predict. Mm. So it can happen, although it's not so common. Yes. And when the patients have other type of diseases, sometimes doctors don't dare to use immunotherapy. For instance, if a patient has a disease like SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus. This is a type of disease where the immune system is already abnormal, is already attacking the body's normal cells and therefore the disease come about. So if the doctors act activate the immune system further, they are afraid that it will attack even more innocent cells. So in some of these situations, where the patient's immune system is not normal, very often the doctors may not even choose to use immunotherapy. Yes, all treatments can have potential side effects. It's just a question of whether the good effects is more than the side effects. Even for targeted therapy, there can be some side effects as well. For instance, the case that I showed, the patient with the lung cancer has a genetic mutation and I gave the smart the, the targeted therapy by oral tablet to turn off the growth switch. But this medication tends to give patients a lot of rash. So there's like a lot of pimple rash on the face and the skin becomes dry. But it cannot be helped because pimple rash, dry skin, we can still give medication to control that. So long as the cancer can be controlled, these side effects are still considered quite minor. Yes, for immunotherapy, about 10% of patients will get obvious side effects. Now, the other 90% will get either no side effects or very, very minor side effects. We generally don't advise that. Unfortunately, all the new treatments, when they do the experiments, when people join the clinical trial, they always exclude pregnant women from joining. So many of the new treatments, we will always say that we cannot guarantee safety for pregnant women because they were all excluded during the testing stage. So that is a, that is a problem. So if we have a patient, pregnant patient who needs cancer treatment, it's a big headache because a lot of the time we may not be very sure whether certain treatments are safe for the baby. So this antibody, when infused into the blood, will destroy this defense system that the cancer set up to hide itself from the immune system, PD-1, so that the immune system can see that this is the bad guy, the cancer, and will attack it. Only it is an antibody given by infusion into the blood. It's given once every two to three weeks, usually.